What is up everybody? It is Big Banks and we are back again for another episode. Today we are on a south trip. We are in the deep south and we are at a amazing abandoned 1800s home right now. And this place is very special. I came here a little over a year ago and didn't ever go inside. And today I finally mustered up the strength to go inside and finally see what's in there. And it is a complete time capsule and I hope you guys are ready for this. It has an incredible story behind it and we'll get right into that after we take a look at the outside. You guys know the drill. If you're new, hit that subscribe button and let's look at this place and then we'll get right into the story. Let's go. All right, so I'm walking up on the house now. It's raining a little bit, so we're not gonna be outside very long, but this is the very front of the house. As you can tell, it's very beautiful. Lots of decay falling apart. You can see up into the rooms there. Looks very like a haunted house. We are in this like ghost town. Not really a ghost town, but it's definitely a dying town and this place is absolutely magnificent. This was built in the late 1800s out here on this land all by itself. Plenty of privacy. You got the whole brick up front. You got the pillars, the very nice, beautiful doors and windows all over this house. This place is amazing. It was abandoned around 2007 and there's a crazy story to this and we're about to get right into that. So I'm not gonna take you around the whole house. It's so overgrown, but we're about to go inside and let's take a look at the history of this place. Hope you guys enjoy, let's get right into it. In today's episode, we are taking a look at an abandoned home tucked away inside of a dying city in the deep south. I've decided to keep the name private to reduce the chance of vandalism, but the little boy that grew up here with his family was an all-out athlete, playing every sport his school offered, but excelled mostly in football and basketball. Lucky enough for him, he was blessed physically and was able to be great at whatever he put his mind to. In 2003, he went undrafted in the NBA and got to pick up a few games before he decided it was best for him to develop more overseas. He moved him and his whole family to Italy to play professional basketball, which ultimately left his home abandoned. So join me today and let's see what's left. All right, guys, we made it inside of this abandoned house in the south. Uh, I'm not gonna call this a mansion, but I'm gonna call it a big house. This is very beautiful, complete time capsule. You got the French doors on both sides here, beautiful staircase, everything is left behind. So we're gonna take a look at this beautiful house today. I came here a year ago, but I didn't come inside and I kind of regret not coming a year ago, but now I'm glad we're here and we're filming it. So let's take a look at this place. I know we heard the history and just in the beginning outside, but now we're gonna take a look at what was all left inside. So let's start right here at the front. So here's your front door here. And you even have like a little step here with this green carpet when you first walk in. Part of this is kind of trashed out a little bit, but this is what you see when you first walk in. The floor is very kind of, uh, it is bad. I feel like I'm gonna fall through at any point. Check that out, the staircase is actually green. It's like this green carpet going all the way up it. The decay on the walls and everything. You see how it's peeling and all the walls are cracking. Look at the ceiling here, caving in. We're gonna start walking to my left here through these French doors. We got peril photography, what is that? Ammo. Oh, there's bullets. Oh yeah, I see it now. I thought it was tools for a second. <laughs> so right in here, this first room we're walking in, there is a couch. So maybe this is one of their living rooms. There's multiple couches in here. Some light fixtures that are on the walls. Check this out, this fireplace. They have this covering it up. This could be some sort of heater. A lot of stuff left in here. It's all kind of in random spots though. Like why is this cooler right in the middle of the living room? <laughs> you got chairs that are covering up doors and just various different types of furniture. There's a giant, that's the biggest chest I've ever seen in my life. That's huge. And to my left here, we have another little living space. May have been more like a den. 
you got your radio, all that good stuff. Looks like we have a nice like modular couch. Pieces are kind of scattered out everywhere. And maybe they like to play football. Buccaneers. There's a couple of those footballs here. Multiple couches. And part of this is kind of ransacked. Yeah, whatever this powder is on the floor. Old TVs and whatnot. I want to say this is like some sort of a breakfast nook. Maybe even a closet because we do have a bedroom right to our right here. But I want to say this is either some sort of breakfast nook or a closet because I've seen that type of thing before. See the level of decay that's going on here. I love how this room is like this octagon shape in here. A lot of stuff left behind. Oh my God, is that a bird? I think it's a bird. Looks like it was lit on fire. And now we're gonna enter our first bedroom and you can see everything is left here. Here's the bed. It's still semi-made. Almost like they just up and left one day. We see that a lot in these houses in the south. Even have your dresser over here. Looks like somebody had went through all the drawers, scattered things about. Look at this, TV is still here. It's one of those old satellite TVs. crazy to see that everything is just left. And the calendar here says 2007. So I'm not sure whose room this would have been. A girl's room, or boy's room. But if we take a look at it, the bed is pink. So I mean, that could tell you that it is a girl's room. But I could be wrong. You've got the high ceilings in every room. I mean, this is an old house. Old Southern house, various types of stuff. Look at this NFL guy, the Falcons. So we're gonna move on straight away. We've got a bathroom here. It's very small. The way it's set up is different than I've seen before. You have this like shower that's in this little corner here that's I don't know. It looks like it's just kind of tucked back there. And the way these houses are, everything runs into each other. So now we're back to the foyer. Let's see if we can go to our next room over here. We've got the glass doorknobs. It's always a nice feature. So now we're gonna go over here, we gotta watch the floor that we're stepping on because it's it's a bit dodgy. We got hardwood floors that we come to instead of carpet. And this room we're walking into looks to be the dining room. And I mean, this floor is warped all over the place. This is even sinking into the ground. So we wanna be as careful as possible walking through here. Check this out. You have a large dining room table here. Oh, that floor is, floor is really bad. <laughs> okay, it looks like we're good. I hope. So here's our dining room table. It's quite large. It's so dark and eerie in there. It's crazy to see houses like this. All the china is left over there. And this is actually one of the bigger dining room tables I've seen. You can fit one, two, three, four, like 10, 12 people at this table. I'm gonna attempt to walk back over here. All right, we're good. Right here, here's our microwave. Definitely looks 
60s, 50s maybe. It's definitely older. Check out this little TV by Magnavox. I mean, this place is chock full of everything. And straight away, here's our kitchen. And I'm definitely scared of all these floors here. They are warping so badly. So I'm not gonna risk walking over there because this floor looks one of the worst. But all the plates and whatnot are left behind. Looks like they just got done doing dishes and then just left. And I would open the fridge for you guys, but it's just, yeah. <laughs> We don't want to fall through. And I don't know if you guys can see this, but there's a very thin layer of cobweb right there. Right here is, th this is your breakfast area right here. So you have like the little table, your chairs and stuff. So right next to the kitchen. So when you would eat breakfast, you'd have it in here, this little room. So now we've explored the entire downstairs. There's been one bedroom so far. So I think all the rest of the bedrooms are gonna be upstairs. So let's go up there and let's see what's left. All right, staircase is leaning a bit, but I think it feels pretty sturdy for the most part. Let's make our way up this. A lot of animals are in and out of this. There's poop everywhere. And look at the decay just coming up the staircase. Wow, there's even a little room right here. I think we'll find another way over there. And the floor is just all like slanted. This whole house is just slanted. So coming to a room here on my left and it is full of stuff, like too much stuff. Don't think we're gonna be able to go in here. You can only go like so far, a couple feet in. But there's beds, there's couches, bed frames. Maybe this was a master bedroom or something. Crazy to see that they just stored all everything in one room and kind of just threw it in here. Nothing's really organized. Dude, this whole floor is slanted. Yeah. Like yeah. you're taller than me right now, basically. <laughs> Literally. So this room is more like a time capsule right here on the right side when you come upstairs. Anything sketchy in there? Yeah, watch the floor. Watch the floor. Yeah. Of course, you gotta watch the floor in this whole house. So this bed is, I mean, it's not made. A lot of times you guys say this stuff is staged, but like I film raw reactions when we come in here and this is what we're seeing. We didn't put anything together. I mean, this is just what it looks like. Things are abandoned like this. It blows my mind too. Like it's, it's unreal. And uh, until you start doing it as long as like I've done it, y you know, this stuff isn't really surprising anymore. Um, it's just crazy to see this. And one thing about the South too, with like rooms like this and houses like this, is that there's less explorers down here. People that, you know, explore abandoned buildings a lot. So a lot of them stay relatively, you know, less vandalized and stuff like that. This one does feel like maybe a squatter has come up in here because this town is very poverty written that we're in. It's the two closets right there and even a nice brick fireplace. It definitely looks like raccoons have been up and out of here too. You can see the prints everywhere. So you come to this room and it's a connecting bathroom here, which is really cool. But we got to watch through the floor. 
Now this might be the master because I see a really large bed in here. But, so these two share this bathroom right here, which is like a blue and white theme. A lot of stuff still left behind. But again, guys, we gotta be really careful on the floor. It's really sketchy. And this room is our master, I think, because this is the largest room seen so far. Check out the bed. That is cool. Doesn't look like a lot of personal stuff is left behind, but the size of the suitcase is actually insane. Yeah, but like I said, not a lot of personal stuff. There's even a door right here that goes down to the staircase, the main staircase. Be really mindful of the floor as we walk around right here. But you can see animals have been kind of pooping on the beds, but that is a beautiful bed frame. The woodwork on it is absolutely stunning. Let's see if I can get a close up of it for you guys. Check that out. Just so pretty. It's like they're both put together, so his and hers. King size bed here. This room is just up in the top right corner of the house. And then right next to it is another bedroom. And it looks like the animals stay mostly in here. A lot of raccoon poo and other types of animal feces on that bed. I love the green colors in here though, and the chandelier that's still hanging up. It's amazing to see chandeliers still in houses. And here's your closet. But see, like this, they didn't take any clothes, or like they, they took all their clothes, you know what I mean? So they didn't leave many like personal things behind like that. But nonetheless, very beautiful rooms. It looks like we have a little bit more to see on this side. We have a built-in cabinet here, it looks like for all the linens. A lot of it is still here. And it looks to my right here that we have another bedroom. We have a really nice bed frame in here. I really like these type of bed frames. Really neat. Got the points on them. Looks like they left some clothes behind in this one. And this beautiful little orange chair here. Got the flowers on it. We have our dresser, even a TV, some lamps. But this house is so dangerous, it's falling apart. Check this out though, really neat stuff. And then off of the bedroom, there's another room, but I think this is just a bathroom. There we go. Now guys, we're not gonna be going up into the attic or the basement. It is all really, really falling apart and it would just be too dangerous. This is honestly one of the most dangerous places I've ever been in. And I still love it though. I really still love it because all this stuff is still left in here. It's a time capsule. You can really tell how the family lived here in the deep south. And it's just incredible the things we can find out here. But yeah, we're going to keep ourselves safe and not go up to the attic or the basement. They're just too fallen down and just too dangerous to go into without any type of like protective gear or anything like that. We don't want a whole house collapsing on top of us. That would not be good. So I'm going to stay safe on this one. But let's keep looking around, see if we missed anything. I still want to go over here. Maybe the floor is not too bad. I want to see if there's anything in the closets. Careful on the floors though. Oh yeah, look at that. The suits are still hanging up. Got a purple suit, a green suit. And we have two closets, so maybe one is like a his and hers type thing. Looks like some more vintage clothes, it's like an old denim jacket, windbreakers, things like that. Still wrapped up, some of them. Wow. Let's go back this way. See if we can see anything else. I don't think so. I think that's all the house. So let's go back downstairs. Meet up with the gang again. 
It just sucks how much decay this is. Look at all this. Drywall just falling down. All right, guys. Well, that's the end of today's video. We're back in the car. Uh, thank you to the Bando fam and Justin right here, Pearl Photography. Uh, we're going to get out of here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is a pretty cool place, abandoned right around 2008, 2009, and everything was left in it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We're going to head to the next spot. We're going to be doing a few more places on this trip. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit that subscribe button. Check out Bando Fam and Pearl Photography down in the description below, and we'll see you next time. Big Banks out.